Hello, today I'm going to show you a, an Xcode tutorial on how to make a Hello World application. It's quite simple. First open up Xcode and do File, New Project. Go onto Mac OS X, click Application, Cocoa Application. Just call it Hello World. Um, and then save that. Right, once you're here, load up the main menu XIB. It might be nib for some people, but mine looks XIB for some reason. Right, once that's done, you can start making your interface. Um, make it not too big. And first of all, we need a button, so just do a push button. Just put it there. And then you need a text field. Some people use a label, but I prefer to use a text field. Don't know why, just do. Um, <clears throat> with the text field, make it turn off editable. Let's do something like press me, something like that, you can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, probably leave that. Um, yeah, so now we need to get an object, so object, there we are, just drag that into the this bit, um, go into identities, call it hello world, Okay, that was meant to be called Hello World, but I'll just call it. There you go. I just I don't know why that wasn't working, but yeah, Hello World. You need an action. That's going to be your push button. So button press with a semicolon on the end. Make sure it's it's case sensitive. So make sure that it's the right sort of thing. And I'll explain all this in the description. Uh, keep the outlet, put it as display. Make sure that's an uncapital D. And nearly done. So, if that, yeah, so keep on Hello World when you do this. Go on to connections, put the display on the text field, and the button press on the press me. So that links it all together so it knows what you're talking about. So, there you go. Um, I think that's done. So click on Hello. So you can save that. Click on Hello World. Make sure you click on that. The interface builder. Interface builder. Oh, sorry. File. Right class files. And keep it as Hello World. Make sure you create the H file for save. And then Hello World. Add. Right. Now you get your files here. Put them in. Classes. I always have my that on the top. All right. Now you need to get coding. I'll put all of this in the description if you can't read it on YouTube. So you're in the H file now. So in the interface, hello world equals specify superclass. Let's put NS object because we're talking about an NS object. So there you go. Um, I think that's that for the H file. Go into the M file, and you don't really need to do much here. Let's do a square bracket. Square bracket, and you can then do um, set string value. Make sure it's the sort of right sort of case because that can get a little bit confusing. Okay, so that's set string value, right K capitals sort of and a semicolon. Then you do a space at the at symbol. Actually that could be moved in there. At symbol with a speech marks the one with the two lines. And then you write just write hello world. You can do that anything you can write hello Jimmy or you can you, you can use it as a simple key gen if you want. That's what I've done. And then you do once that's all done, you do a square bracket and a, one of them. I don't know what they are. 
Um, <coughs> I think that's done actually. Yeah, so you can now you can build and go. Uh, save all. Builder. So this should link compile. There you go. So once this is loaded, you've got your application running. And this, yeah. Let's press me. Hello world. And then you can probably delete that. No, you can't. Um, yeah, and there you go. If you want, you could make your interface a lot nicer, change this to um, other, just delete them or whatever. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Um, it's just using simple Objective C in a bit of a. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I might be making some more videos. Depends really. If I can be bothered. So, yeah, I'll see you later.